What is going on, peeps? Welcome to another edition of TBX 420 Club Classics from the Vault. And this one, we are going to the YouTube space and my first suit there. Oh, it was such a thunderfuck. Oh my God. Uh, well, first off, I told everyone to get there a bit too early. No one stuck around to wait around until I got there because no one was allowed inside of the studio until I came in because um, they were all essentially my guests to the studio. Um, then I get there, really awesome subway set. I have no one to hire the cameraman. I have the cameraman getting pissed off at me. I was like, dude, you couldn't wait. I, I like, I transferred him half the money. I came there for a big wad of cash to pay everyone. Um, hired a lot of people. So when I got in there, I was pissed off I lost all the people because I had all these fucking awesome friggin' sets. Um, a whole subway set. Um, but you know what? I came off of an angle by myself. Pretended I was on the subway trying to get there. Would have worked better if I remastered it now and add some sound effects. But stay tuned. We may do that in the future. All right, peeps. Let's get to this classic from the vault. Stuck in the station. It has been so long since I've been on one of these trains. Ugh. Hopefully it goes soon, man. Oh man, this is my first time filming out the YouTube space. I'm really excited. Apparently I'm gonna get a set that looks like a subway. I wonder if it's gonna look like one of the new subways or it's gonna be like one of the old ones like this. I'm like, I'm surprised ones like this are still running. Wow, well, look at that map. Huh. That's the weirdest subway map I've ever seen. Too bad my brother can't come. I would have really liked him to be a part of this. But he just got the new Tomb Raider game today, so he won't be here. Man, this bus is taking, this train's taking forever to go, man. Why did I want one on the subway? It's like I, when I was younger, I used to love having the whole car to myself, but. Come on. The time's getting really tight. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I really don't know if I'm going to make it. Come on, driver. CTC is supposed to be the faster way. Why is this taking so long? video didn't do as good as I thought they would. Come on. <sighs> Come on. Oh. I just turn off my location services. I just went down to my battery just died really badly. Oh no. Is that an iPhone truck? Why is this train taking so damn long, man? I can't afford to be late. I don't know what the rules are. If I'm late, they might not even let me go inside. I always hate this. It's always nerve-wracking. You know how many times I've been in this situation on the bus? But really, you gotta be grateful for the way it is now. Back in the day, they never used to call out all the stops. Now, every even the buses, they'll say all the stops on automated systems. When I was younger growing up, you had to look out the window and look at the street, uh, street signs and know if you were where you wanted to go. Didn't always 
work out. Sometimes you get lucky and you can ask the driver to um, tell you when you get to sit spot, but not all of them are so nice. I remember back in the day, uh, going downtown for the first time with my friends, just being so scared. But they were so used to it, I guess they've gone downtown multiple times. As for me, I used to just chill in my own area, but for me, it was like so nerve wracking. I didn't know where I was going. And then when the train got crowded and I couldn't see where they are, in my head, I'd, I'd be having like a little panic attacks and I'd be freaking out. I didn't really know the system as well as I do now. I know it quite well now. I've been from end to end. I've been at almost every stop on the subway. Um, I remember one time, a little after that, going to Finch Station. And me and this guy were trying to walk to this place that was all the way by Young and Bloor. But for some reason, me and my buddy thought we would have been able to walk it from Finch Station. We got off at of Finch Station and we started walking around the Young Line. I think he had all these like uh, old adult magazines he wanted to go sell them in like an adult store or something. So we are walking down until we found an adult store so that he could have had, well, we, we would have had money to spend when we got to the place we are going to. <laughs> and we were walking all the way to the place and they wouldn't take his magazines because they weren't in good condition. <laughs> I won't get into too many details about that. Um, and then I ended up spending money while I was there, and he ended up spending money when he was there, because we saw stuff, I was like, wow. And then we just kept walking and walking. I think we literally ended up walking from Finch to North York Center. No. Yeah, I think it was to North York Center. Actually, we passed North York Center, and we went to York, was it York Mills? Whatever stops after North York Center, I think we might have walked all the way to there. We, like, we spent a long ass time walking. It felt forever. And this is back when I was really fat. <laughs> and then we ended up going back and then he was like, oh, the subway. He knew how to get home from the subway. So as soon as we found the subway, we knew we were good. Um, I remember that friend he used to always have an issue with me paying at Finn Station. He's like, are you dumb? Why are you paying? Everyone just walks in. I was like, Hey, they're giving me home safe. I'm going to make sure to go and pay my fare. It's the right thing to do. I always used to always make sure to pay my fare. It was always an adventure hanging out with this buddy. I remember um, one time him telling me that, uh, no, he didn't tell me. We used to be on the subway, right? And we'd be coming from downtown or wherever. I don't know. Sometimes we, we were kind of... When you're young and you're stupid and you can't think of what to do, sometimes we'd go back and forth on the train on like nice days, see hot girls on the subway, I don't know why. Uh, we, did we ever talk to these girls? No, we never actually did talk to them, which is kind of the funny part. Um, but yeah, uh, we'd be on the subway, and if someone came on the, sub, on the train, and it wasn't a girl when we were just chilling on the train, he would do this whole thing where he would be like, and he'd call it his evil voice, and he'd go, Get the F off my train! I reserve this train! And then people, this is, I remember one guy getting scared of running off the train. One person telling him to F off. It was messed up. Any other funny stories about the sub? Oh, I know how I said we would go back and forth on the trains when we were bored to try to. See hot girls. I don't, literally, we just would go to see them. We, not every one of us knew how to talk in the back there. He's doing better than me now. I'm pretty sure he's married with kids or something. I'm not. I'm not. One day. One day. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going back and forth on the train. It was the one that's the Kennedy line. And. We got all the way to the other end, which I believe is Kipling Station, and it turned out that we were on the last train. And I think one of these drivers must have heard him doing his evil voice shit. So we're asking, and they're like, um, is there another train coming? They're like, no, no, we gotta go take the night bus. We never even heard of the night bus, the blue night bus. This was actually 
the first time I ever took the Blue Knight bus. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, I over the driver saying to my friend, "That's what you get for fucking with the train or fucking with the TTC." Or I think he said fucking with the train or something. Oh, and you know what he used to do? You know those poster things on the side? He used to just take them off and take them home as souvenirs. He'd fully put them up on the wall. I don't know what he used to tell his parents. That guy was kind of crazy. The best stuff. We used to go to this old strip club named Caddy's. Um, I think he was just 19. I was just a little underage. Um, and the feet, and we'd be regulars. We'd just go there before the security got there so we wouldn't get ID'd. Well, I wouldn't get ID'd. But then the features would always see us, so we would always get the posters and stuff, and then he actually became friends with the manager. Actually, he was 18, I was 17 when we used to go. Because he was just about to become legal age. He was like literally two months from becoming legal age. And I remember he, like a dumbass, when he would get the posters, he'd put them up on his fucking wall. I, I don't know why he would do that. I don't know why someone would think to put their posters up on their wall, but he did. There were, like posters of the strippers naked, he'd be pulling them on his wall, and his parents would get mad at him and be like, Where the hell did you get those? So this guy's dad went and called the club. Said he was under age. Remember going there with him? And I noticed they were quicker to come and get us to order a drink than usual. We ordered a drink. Now, my parents didn't call and snitch on me. You know, my dad found out I was at some strip club looking at strippers at that age when I was 17. He was like, all right, that's my boy. Go have some fun. Don't waste money. Be smart. Try to take one of them home or go home with one of them. Don't spend all your money there. But, you know, his dad was different. Um, so I got kicked out. I remember buying a drink and getting kicked out after I get in my drink. You know what this little shit did? He went and snitched on me because he was jealous that I got kicked out. Um, I remember going there. And he went and told them that I was underage. Kind of shows you. It was a sign. You don't always show people like that. They don't keep it 100. No point in keeping them in your crew. I'm just rambling on, peeps. I'm just waiting for this damn subway to start. How long have I been here? It seems like I've been here forever now. I don't know if I'm going to make it on time. I'm really scared. It's my first time going to the YouTube space. I hope you, hopefully I actually make it on time. kind of funny, I'm, I'm like fully talking on the tr subway train like there's a camera here. I don't even have my phone out. Maybe I should start actually filming what I'm talking about. You guys may think I'm crazy. That's when you're a vlogger. You just get used to doing that. You're used to always talking to the camera. Sometimes you'll just be sitting there chilling. And you'll be acting like you're on camera. You used to always being on camera, you feel more, I personally have started to feel more comfortable on camera. Alright. Just checking how many people watched that last video I uploaded. Talking about vlogging. You know what, I'm going to get out, I'm going to leave from here, I'm going to go take a cab. I'm going to go, I saw there was a store outside, I'm going to go to that store, I'm going to ask them if there's a quick streetcar I could take, or if, well, maybe I'll call Uber. Alright peeps, alright peeps. Alright, ah, great. Figures. I fully saw the guy here before. Now when I actually want to come and buy something, or, well, I just really need directions on which way to go. I guess I'll sit here and wait. Pretty nice seats. It's like barstool. It's pretty nice, actually. 
A little shaky. All shoplifters would be prosecuted. They got a lot of newspapers here. You even know people still bought newspapers. Ooh, they got candy. Sweet. What about your shoplifter if I took one of these candies? Oh, probably would be. They do look good though. They got a lot of candies. I guess I gotta wait till the guy gets here so I can buy some. What do they got? I'm gonna go film. Maybe I can get something that I could add to my project. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything they have available here. Just the waiting game. Am I wasting time here? I don't know, guys. I told you guys I was going to do an episode of Heartbreak and Tragedy, but the clip I recorded, I don't think I can use that clip. Let me just check this clip right here. Oh, they got bottle openers. That's pretty cool. I guess this guy is not sewn up. Newspapers are there. Oh, we got magazines. Do they have any wrestling magazine? You know how long it's been since I've read a wrestling magazine? I used to love wrestling magazines. We got basketball. Bunch of stuff. Oh, Natural Geographic. Do they got Natural Geographic here? Renovations, times, huh? Basketball magazine. Hey, this is old. PlayStation Two. Wow, this is pretty old. So there's not even a cash register here. How do you pay for anything? September 2017. 2016. Is there nothing from today? Another 2016 one? Slugs at the beach? What's the year on these things? All well, this stuff looks really old. The coffee planker doesn't even have the coffee thing on it. What's going on, guys? I'm, I'm really, really confused. Um, I think I'm just going to get out of here and I'm going to try to just find a cab or I'm going to call it Uber. I'll be, I'll be back guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna go exit out of here. Alright, looks like I finally found the exit. Alright, now I can finally get out of here. Holy crap. This station's amazing. I've never even heard of this station.
How do I get out of here? What the hell is going on? I have never seen a seat like this in a subway station before. This... Huh? Well, since it's here, might as well enjoy it. Ugh. Well, peeps. <sighs> Take a little break. But I'm really confused. Why am I stuck in this subway station? Huh. This makes absolutely no sense. Station was. I don't think the train has even left yet. No, wait, that's a different train. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna go back into that train cart. I am. Um, I'm going back into that train. This is one of the weirdest trains I've ever seen. It is really old. And it's pretty retro. Let's check out the seats. There's a bench here. I've not seen anything like this or set up like this since I was a kid. And come on, peeps, look at that map. Does that map even make sense? Is that even the right stops on there? Station it doesn't even have Kennedy Station. This is a really, really old station. All right, I got nothing else to do. I guess I gotta chill here and wait. I can't get out of the station. I'm literally. Literally stuck here, guys. I'm literally stuck here. Um, Saturn chocolate rims, caramel, caramel, creamy caramel. I've never heard of that chocolate before. I want to try that chocolate though. It does look like delicious chocolate. I'm back on this train, guys. Um. I'm looking at these advertisements. Okay, it can't be that old because there's a digital camera ad up there. And that's that kind of new style writing. A graffiti style. I'm really confused, peeps. Um, I'm trying to figure out it would be another train. door guys. You want to try to walk out of the train. Almost, the seats aren't into the ground like they are on these little trains. Are they not scared of like them moving around and stuff? Huh. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. Damn it, I'm still trapped here. I've walked around this entire subway. Oh man. It's like this entire station's deserted. What's going on? I'm really confused right now, peeps. Um, I'm just gonna keep walking around until I find my way out of here. Has to be a way out of here. I better. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go this way now.
This isn't a real subway station. Oh, wow. Okay. I just realized that. I'm going to just go a full 360 and show you guys what I'm looking at right now. How did I not notice that this entire damn time? This, my friends, is the YouTube space. Six specifically stage one. And what you all just witness was my first episode from the YouTube space. Sorry for acting like I was actually lost, peeps. Uh, I just was not able to get any extras. Obviously, with the subway set, I would have wanted extra people in there for my original vision for what I was going to do when I came here. And then I had a camera person who would have been a lot easier of having them man the camera for me, but I was doing it myself. This is my first official episode in the YouTube space. I've actually filmed, hmm, I think about three, four episodes while here. Um, at least three episodes I have filmed. I actually used another camera, this uh, 360 for oh, oh, what will be a cool video. I had this other camera. But uh, my point of contact recommended that I use this big one. So I just stuck with the big one. The big one looks cooler anyway, so I just stuck with that. It's like a professional camera. It says 4K on it. They're both Sony, but this one's more has like a bunch of sensor stills and the sound is not as great on it. This one, he gave me a shotgun mic on it and plus the mic on the camera, so I got double sound when I go to edit it. I have choices of two sound files. Now I gotta focus on there. I have not been doing that. I've been looking at the screen, which has been my fault for my phone. And now I'm focusing on there, right into the lens. Um, that's a hard adjustment for me. I've always looked at the screen while I'm filming, so it doesn't even look like I'm making direct eye contact. So I gotta get used to doing that. Hi, peeps. What's up? Um. Closing out down to my last hour, I'm probably going to have to go out front in about 15 minutes and get everything transferred from the SD cards to my external hard drive. Um, this has been a pretty fun experience. I've actually quite much enjoyed it. And it's been really cool. Um, this whole scene was really fun to film. I wish I could have did a little more than I did, but I feel I've done enough. I feel I've done enough. I've entertained y'all. I've entertained y'all. Luckily, there was a charger here. I wasn't sure if it was an iPhone charger. I'm guessing this is an iPad. Yeah, it is an iPad. That's why it worked. You know what? What they use for the lightings is an iPad. I actually have not really sewn too much of it on my other clips, I'll pull it out right now. We have this whole thing right now. Set up all the lights like I could just fully black out all the lights. Just like that. Turn it back on. Halloween mode. Back on. Train wall. Uh, I think the train lights are all set. Stairway. Different people have their own specific settings when they come here. I'm not going to mess with anyone's settings. I'm just going to go with the basic ones. This is on 14%, so I'm going to probably have to plug this in soon. Halloween. Studio one. Okay, I'm going to go put this back. I don't want to mess with this too much. don't want to mess with this too much. Look at that stand. I'm gonna have to grab something like that for my iPad. Actually, that's one thing. I might. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the Eaton Center when I get out of here. But if I do, I'm gonna head over there and I may go and buy. Um, what do you call it? A case for my new iPad that is on the way to my home 
for as we speak, it is in the mail. It will be there. I am looking forward to getting it. I've never had an iPad. I had an Android tablet before. It's only a 9.71, but it says Wi-Fi capable. I'm guessing that's a good one. I got it for free from my uh, new bank account, more or less. If you are not with Royal Bank, go sign up with Royal Bank and get one payroll or pay two bills with it, and they send you a free iPad. 32 gig, goodbye. I think it's 32 gigs I get. It would be awesome if it was 64, but it probably is 32. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have enjoyed this little skit that I did. Let me know what you guys think I should do next time I come to the YouTube space. And give me your ideas. Heck, if you want to be in the video, let me know. Heck, is it, do you not see? Do you see anyone with me? I'm by myself. Peeps, if you're in Toronto, holler at your boy. I know most of you are in America and overseas. That's where the big majority of my audience is. But... If you're in Toronto, holler at your boy. Come get in these episodes with me. This is an awesome set. We would have had so much fun. Um, I've had a great time. It's been a blast. But that is a wrap. Um, isn't that cool? Next time I'm definitely utilizing this. I'm going to like fully write it out. You even have like the marker. Right, everything. I had it written in the other clip I filmed. Um, I'm going to use this to close out this scene. But as you know, there is only one way. There is only one way for an episode on the TBX 420 Club to end. There is the one and only way that it always ends, and that's either the camera, dot, uh, the memory runs out and it just cuts off, or this outro where I ask you guys to do me that favor, that one favor that I ask of my peeps. Be sure to follow me on everything TBX 420, 420 Club. I was a little brush. I've been saying it for two years and I still mess up when I say it. Starting off with the channel you're watching this video on, the TBX420 Club on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Whatever you feel I deserve. Go in the comments and be heard. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what you want to see me do. And throw some challenges at me. It's been a while since I've done a good challenge. Give me a challenge to do, peeps. What is there? Don't say that Tide Pod crap because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that stupidness. Or that fire garbage. Or that ice bucket garbage. Forget all that crap. Give me a good challenge to do. Um, for notifications. All that stuff. All that good stuff. Get in there, peeps. Go and follow the official Instagram page of the channel. The TBX420 Club for my pre-filming selfies and my awesome memes. Uh, go and follow Snapchat TBX420 for my more mature content and my crazy... Oh yes, they are crazy rants. Um, if you were actually on Snapchat, you would have seen me snapping from the space. Um, go and follow Twitter, Tony Mon, T O N Y, M O N. Um, see me be a fan because literally that's all I am on Twitter right now. Um, you want a game with me? Go. You can play it with me on both PS4 and Xbox One. PS4, it's TBX420. And Xbox One, it's Tony Mon 420. I have both plus and I have gold. And I have the Game Pass on Xbox so we can get into it and play all those games. I'm almost 100% certain that I'm going to get WWE 2K19 on PS4 as soon as it comes out. I might actually pre-order it this weekend. If after buying my uh, new computer, I can afford it, I may actually just go and use my... Um, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, stay good peeps and keep it blitz.